Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. If you are new to this channel, want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and things of that nature, and maybe you want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel might be something for you, and I would recommend you to subscribe. So in this video, I'll show you how to do this call out effect. Uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get right to it. So here we have this clip on a dude on a bicycle. And um, to make things a little bit easy, I'm going to scroll forward. And around here, I'm just going to push B and I'm going to do a cut. And this has nothing to do with the effect, just that this is where he is going to be out of frame. And uh, for the tracking, this is going to be a lot easier. Alrighty. With that out of the way, let's jump into Fusion. Okay, so here in Fusion, we have our media in and our media out. And first thing we need to do is we are going to need to add in a tracker. So I'm going to push control space. And I already did search for it. So if you just write TR, you'll have the tracker and it's right here. And you're just going to add that in. And then we're simply going to take our tracker up here. And uh, I think that uh, the black pants here should be pretty fine to track. I'm also going to take this uh, square uh, out here because this is the search area. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And then I'm simply just going to track forward like that. So here we go. Here we have the track, it's completed. And if we take a look, we can actually see the tracking data here. If we scroll forward, it looks like a pretty good track. So let's do the callout graphic now. So to do that, we are going to use a background and we can change this to any color, but for today, we'll just make it white. And then we are going to take in a polygon and then we are going to add those two together. Uh, we're just going to take our background and throw it up here in the second layer. Okay, and if we use the uh, pluses and minus on the keyboard while selecting the screen over here, we can go zoom in and out. So we're just going to draw in a shape here, like that. And I'm going to zoom in and make this a lot uh, thinner because that looks hideous. Something like that should be good enough for Jess. Then we'll go up to the tracker and in the tracker, we'll go over to our operations and we're going to change this operation from none till match move. And then we're just going to take our background and polygon. We're going to right click on the mouse and drag this over to the tracker. And we're going to put this as a foreground. Here we have that. And now um, if we play the clip, of course, you will see that this is not aligned with what we want it to be. So to do that, we are going to add in a transform node and it's right here. And we can drag that in between the line here. And with the transform selected, we can take our clip or our thing here, make it here. And also I would love to size this down a bit so it's not so huge. So maybe something like that. So now we'll see that the, our graphic here are aligned as it should be. So let's add in some text. We're going to drag in a merge node. I'm going to put that in between here and uh, we're just simply going to take a text, drag that in and I'm going to again, right click, hold the mouse button and drag down to the merge release. I'm going to put this as a foreground. So here we can change the thing or write out text. So let's do that. Okay, and we're going to the fonts and we're going to take an old favorite of mine, the Tahoma. We're going to take the text here, going to move it, going into the merge, and I'm going to change the angle to align this in some way, something like that. Again, if I want to zoom in, I can use plus and minus keyboard to make it 
like that. And uh, that's it. That's how you do that effect. Super fast, super easy. And um, it's uh, pretty useful and can be used for a lot of things. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.